Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best camera for portraits. Starting at number 5. Sony Alpha A6400. If you're on a tighter budget, the Sony Alpha 6400 is a great mirrorless option to get you started in portrait photography. It's a portable crop sensor camera with a sturdy build and a high-resolution APS-C sensor. Its ergonomics pale compared to the Nikon Z5, but some people may find it's worth the trade-off for added portability. It also has a lot of customization options to tailor the controls to your preferences. On top of that, you have Sony's ever-reliable autofocus system with precise IAF, making this a versatile camera that won't break the bank. Another standout feature of this camera is that it uses the same lens mount as the higher-end Sony Alpha 7 IV, so you'll have access to the same stable of great lens options, including full-frame FE and crop sensor E lenses. The kit lens is fine to cut your teeth on if you're just starting, but a lens like the Sigma 56mm f 1.4 DCDN is one of many excellent third-party options for portraits if you outgrow the kit lens. Coming at number 4. Canon EOS R10RF The Canon EOS R10 is one of the best value APS-C cameras around. It's a beginner-friendly entry-level option, with a highly intuitive user interface and great ergonomics. It's fairly lightweight and portable, too, making it easy to carry around throughout longer shooting sessions. Plus, it uses Canon's highly sophisticated and reliable autofocus system, which includes more precise eye detection and tracking. While this is a very well-rounded mirrorless camera for the price, lens options are still limited for Canon's RF mount, with very few third-party options. That said, you can adapt older EF or EFS lenses perfectly using Canon's EFEOS R adapter, though it comes at an additional cost and will add a bit of bulk. Still, it'll considerably open up your lens options, allowing you to use good value portrait lenses like the Canon EF 50mm f 1.8. At number 3. Nikon Z5, our most. The Nikon Z5 is a great mid-range option if you want a full-frame camera at a lower price point. This is a steal of a camera, especially if you don't do any video work on the side. It isn't as versatile for sports and action photography because of its slow max burst rate, but its high-resolution sensor captures stunning image quality. Nikon's ergonomics are also fantastic, and the camera feels sturdy and well-built, with a high-res EVF and tilting screen. Battery life is also great for a mirrorless model. Overall, it's an excellent camera that offers a lot of value for portrait photographers. Nikon's Z-mount lenses are excellent, though lens selection is more limited than what's available for Sony models like the Sony Alpha 7 IV above or the Sony Alpha 6400 below. Still, Nikon's S-line, in particular, offers some incredibly high-quality glass. Though expensive, the Nikon Z 85mm f 1.8s is one of the best options for portraits if you want to go all-in on the Z system. Number 2 of my list. Fujifilm X-H2 Mirrorless. The Fujifilm X-H2 is one of the highest-resolution crop sensor cameras on the market, with a whopping 40-megapixel resolution. It can capture incredibly detailed photos and gives you plenty of leeway to crop and edit your portraits if needed. It also has a highly sturdy build, with a body and handling geared toward enthusiasts and pros, along with an incredibly high-res EVF. If you prefer a more portable body, the Fujifilm X-T5 uses the exact same sensor and has a more strictly photography-oriented design. It's even a little cheaper but lacks some of the X-H2's video features. Although full-frame cameras have an advantage when it comes to bokeh, it's still possible to get creamy backgrounds and shallow depths of field with an APS-C sensor if you use the right lens. It helps that Fujifilm offers some very fast XF mount lenses that are ideal for this. The XF 56mm f 1.2R or the remarkably wide aperture XF 50mm f 1.0RWR, for instance, will get you some nice bokeh and have full-frame equivalent focal lengths that are well-suited to portrait work. These are pricey lenses, however, 
so you might be all set with the slightly more affordable XF 35mm f slash 1.4R or third-party options from brands like Sigma and Viltrox. And number 1. Sony Alpha 7 IV. Though it might be overkill for some, the Sony Alpha 7 IV is one of the best enthusiast cameras on the market. With a high-resolution full-frame sensor, it's a great choice for high-quality portrait work, whether you're making prints or simply sharing your work online. The camera also has a fantastic autofocus system with sophisticated IAF for precise focusing. Plus, its in-body image stabilization IBIS system can help you get clear handheld shots at slower shutter speeds in less controlled lighting conditions. Sony's E-mount ecosystem includes a wide range of native and third-party lenses to choose from for portrait work. The Sony FE 85mm f 1.8, for instance, offers a lot of value if you're looking at native lenses, but don't overlook third-party options from manufacturers like Tamron or Sigma. If you're strictly shooting portraits and don't need the advanced video features of the Alpha 7 IV, the Sony Alpha 7 III is still an excellent choice that'll cost you less. However, it has a lower resolution sensor and uses an older version of Sony's AF system. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.